Hello again. This is Knox. He is my other Belgian Malinois. He's nine years old and uh, I've, he's retired from sport. We did some narcotics detection work with him and also, <laughs> um, also French ring protection sports. And what I'm going to be sharing with you uh, a few things and topics related to uh, what I've encountered with Knox is I struggled a good bit with him with dealing with the heat working and recovering the heat and the humidity. He's, um, when we would do protection sports, he was super, super intense, uh, just 110% into the work that he did. Um, the heat, he was sensitive to the heat. It would take him forever to cool down whenever we were done working. And I ended up, um, there are some things that I changed in my training routine, in um, hydration, in um, what I would feed him, um, supplements that I would give him and they made a tremendous difference in his ability to recover from exercise. So there's a lot of things that you can do in building fitness to get a dog more fit where you're exercising over time. But there are also some really quick and easy things that you can do in your daily routine, in your feeding of your dog, um, post-exercise recovery, things that you can start doing like immediately that could potentially make a huge difference and an improvement in your dog and uh, exercise and recovery. So um, this is a hot topic. I get lots of people that ask about this. Uh, I'll share the specific changes that I made, um, some of uh, the things that I changed, like some of the supplements I started giving him, um, when and why I made these changes and what the outcome was. Um, and I'm also going to share some of those signs. Uh, one time I thought he was suffering from the heat, but it was not from the heat, it was something else. But it, it looked very similar to um, potential uh, heat injury. So I'm going to share that. I'm going to share the things that I looked for, some of those uh, subtle signs and not so subtle signs, some really obvious signs that he was struggling. And again, I'm going to share some of the some some quick and easy ways that you can potentially make adjustments in your training routine that could potentially make an immediate impact and an improvement <laughs> in your dog's uh, exercise, fitness, and recovery. So. Uh, I'm amazed he's actually staying on my lap this whole time. So uh, yes, so just wanted to introduce you to Knox. Uh, make sure you join us live. Uh, I'm super excited to be having you joining us and I look forward to seeing you there. See you soon, bye bye for now.